Thank you very much, guys. Uh, now, today, I want us to look at a very simple changeover switch. Okay? And in this circuit, we have got, uh, you know, uh, two powers here. Now, we are going to have this contactor as our gen contactor, then this one as our main contactor. Then, we're going to have a control breaker and this timer here, which will control the gen contactor. Then, we have a relay in the circuit and this breaker here it will control the main contactor okay and uh, what we want to achieve here is you see this contactor should be mechanically interlocked like this one but we've not interlocked them so what do you do now the only thing that we can do since we have not interlocked them we will give them double electrical interlock so we will interlock them using these auxiliary and then we also use the relay. Okay? Alright, so let's begin. Now the first thing we are going to do is we want to start with the timer okay now when you look at this timer we have a1 here and then we have a2 this side and then uh, we have 15 so you remember that number 15 is closed to number 16 and open to number 18 but we need open okay so we will have to connect here Now, we need to supply this. So now you see our, we supplied our timer here. Let's connect number 18 because now we know that number 18 is open okay okay now in the relay here uh, we need to give we need to connect it through normally closed of this relay okay and um, when we look at our drawing here we will see that uh, number one and number four are closed okay so we want to use number one and number four now we have number four here so you see number one and number four are closed now we have now to connect number one is right here right here now this number four and number one are normally closed so they will pass through the current now let's go through the main contactor here now this will go straight to the coil so the coil a1 is right here so a1 is right here so this will go straight to a1 now you can see that uh, we would let our timer supply this contactor okay because this contact is only 45 amps which the, the current is too small so the, the timer can really handle it but because of interlocks we've passed it through this relay which will be controlled by the main contactor and then through the main contactor then to the coil so if any of these fail one will still you know hold the protection okay all right now let's go to the main now the main will not have many problems because it is the priority we are not going to pass it through here because it's simply the priority now let us look for normally closed on this relay 
uh, normally open on this really. So when I look here, we have number nine and number eleven. Number nine and number eleven, okay, are open. So we need open. So we are going to check number nine and number eleven. So we have number nine here and number eleven right here. And this number nine will go directly to A1. Okay. Yeah. We'll go directly to A1, just like that. We're gonna do contact number 10 and contact number 2 are uh, the supply. Now we need to link contact number 10 and number 11. Okay, and then this will come here to our supply. I've put these two breakers to be our main supply right here, okay? So we have main here and gen here. Now the only thing we have to do here is to supply the neutral to these contactors and then we supply the neutral to the timer and then also the neutral to the relay. Now, just a disclaimer guys, okay? Uh, you see, each breaker here is representing an independent power. We have a gen power here and we have a main power here. You've seen me linking the neutral together because I'm just using the same power here to mimic two power sources. But the concept here is, uh, is to understand uh, how this change over really work. The principle is what you grab. Okay? Alright. Now, I have a cable here. That now will connect. Let's connect our power here. These are just a small controls that it shouldn't confuse you in any way. They are really very much easy to understand. Okay. Now, let us just recap this. Okay. Now we have a changeover switch here and we, we have two contactors. This contactor is a main contactor and then this is the gen contactor. And this timer here is controlling the gen contactor simply because we put a timer to generate a contactor to delay, at least to delay so that the load doesn't. We can exclude, we can, you can give if you want here a timer, but because normally the main utility power comes in most cases clean uh, not sometimes but in most cases so the only thing you would need here is a phase monitor which now you don't have but you really need to make a changeover okay so you must give your generator a timer to delay it a little bit all right now i recap one more now we made the main priority that's the first thing the main is a priority then if the gen is running and then the main comes back, the main will just take over, you know, just instantly it will take over, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and test it, this and we see how it works. Okay, now that my supply is on, now let's begin with the main contact. So let's put back our relay. So let's start with our main. So you see, now our main is on. So you can typically see here that our main is on and you know running. So it controls the relay. Now, if the generator comes, it will can never go on simply because the, it, the control of the generator passes through the normally closed of this relay which is now open and then through the normally closed of the main contactor which is now open okay so this cable here you see it connects here and comes so the circuit has been broken two times we have here an open circuit and also we have in here an open circuit so there is no way that this thing it can you know come on now if i start the generator you see our timer is running you see our timer is running and then later it, it is still so it has allowed 
the current. So now this current comes and hang here. So the circuit can never go on simply because this one. So in any case, if this one fails, let me say the contactor closed, but, but the plates here did not close. Okay. So if I shot here, it will still not go in because here the contact are open. Okay. So that's simply what we call uh, double protection. Okay. So until you switch this power goes off, now the gen can now come in. Okay. If you switch off here, now the gen can come in because it has been pending. It couldn't come in because we have two contacts here that are open. Okay. So same thing. If this goes you see now you see that the main is still the priority so if you switch on the main the, the general contactor comes out automatically it can never be there okay so simply that's a very simple circuit that uh, yeah you can go out there and try okay so if you need a circuit uh, yeah it's a after this video at the end of this video the circuit will be there so you'll be able to look at the circuit it's a very simple circuit you are able to you know wire it okay so thank you very much for watching the electrical and please don't forget to subscribe to like and also share with any person you see that he, uh, he has interest in this kind of work that we do here thank you very much and have a great one